In this video, I'm going to show you how my student Esther was able to crush a thousand dollars per day with profit and consistent $500 days, $10,000 months, and just absolutely crushing it on Facebook. She got burned so many times before, lost more than $10,000 on mentorships, ads, and products, and finally was able to get results for her Shopify business. I'm going to show you exactly how she did it, the steps that you need to follow to do it, and how to replicate the results yourself. Let's find out. Hey there, it's Rafael Sintran here. By the end of this video, you're going to know how to scale your Shopify store to more than a thousand dollars per day this year and beyond with a clever strategy that absolutely nobody talks about. And I'm going to give it to you all for free here and how my student Esther was able to pass $500 per day, a thousand dollars per month, and just absolutely crushing it. One of our fastest success stories show you exactly how you can do the same process with your store. But before we start, if you're interested in a free step-by-step -step course that teaches you how to go from zero all the way up to 10,000 per day with your Shopify store, make sure to comment automate, automate, comment automate below, subscribe, hit that notification bell and that like button. I'll pick one winner from this video to get that course. And if you want to become like Esther and actually work with me and my team to help you scale your store this year and beyond, make sure to click that first link in the description to apply for a free strategy call directly with me or my team and we'll help you get started. The details will be at the end of the video. Now to Esther and how she was able to crush a thousand dollars a day and obviously be profitable with her store. Here is a screenshot of her story. She told it to our private group on Facebook and I'm just going to summarize it for you. She went from losing money to profiting from her Shopify store in just 10 days with one simple change and we're going to cover that right now. So what did Esther did to actually get better results? The first thing that she did was run a niche store, a niche store that focuses on one particular category of product. Let's just put here niche store or niche Shopify store. And that niche store, instead of being a general store selling kind of whatever she could find, she focused on a very specific audience or part of the market. And what that means is essentially this is something that I teach my students a lot and it's focusing on an audience that you're going to sell to. If you are a beginner, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that you're going to pick, oh, I'm only going to sell kitchen products. I'm only going to sell sleeping products, travel products, and so on. It can mean I'm go only going to sell products for men, 25 to 45, let's say that are busy professionals. They travel, they have a nice job, they have a wife, they have a house and so on. So that particular audience, for example, is more affluent, has more money to buy more expensive products. So that gives you an idea of selling, okay, let me try and sell high ticket products or products for travel that could help these people maybe sell bags for them that they have to do this business trips, maybe sell products for the home that are more expensive, home decor, canvases, and so on. So it doesn't have to be that you just pick a niche store in a very particular category of products. It's more that you pick an audience that you're going to sell to. Why do we actually pick that audience? Because when we focus on that type of people and we find out how, what age are they? What do they do on a daily basis? What problems do they have? I talked about this in my last video, how to make two grand a day with Facebook ads, what problems and what dreams those people have that we are marketing towards, because we need to know what do these people want out of our product? What are these people struggling with on a daily basis? So we can sell the product, much better than anybody else by understanding our audience first. Now, what does it actually take to sell those products to that particular audience? And what's the best strategy to go about it? Should you learn this particular type of Facebook ad, this particular Facebook ad strategies? There's tons of videos out there teaching you different types of Facebook ads and how to do this and how to do that. When the actual best thing you need to do is look for a Facebook ads manager or Facebook ads runner or expert or so on. So in this case, I'm just going to call it manager to scale your campaigns and shortcut the process massively. This is what Esther did. And I'm going to flash her story right here. And you can see in the middle, she hired somebody to do her ads and then that didn't really work out. So she went and hired somebody else to run her ads. And then that guy worked out and it doesn't have to be super expensive. It doesn't mean you're going to have to pay 
these people two thousand five thousand dollars a month it can be very very affordable you can pay let's say four hundred five hundred dollars for a person to actively run your facebook ads we particularly have somebody that has spent more than half a million dollars on facebook ads running some students facebook ads and he only charges about a thousand dollars a month to run your facebook ads get you profitable get you scaling and get you everything done so you can shortcut your success and actually get results faster. And the thing with this is a lot of people think, okay, let me just hire one person and if it doesn't work out, uh, I'm gonna give up and I'm just gonna do it myself. Esther had to go through two people and then the second one was the one that actually cared about her business, was able to build very profitable ads, go deep on our audience, deep on our products and actively get results it wasn't just you know just the first person that she found that's the one that got her results it was the second one that she found that actively made her very very profitable and that's the thing when you find the right person you can go on upwork.com and i'll show you right now you can go on upwork.com and just type in facebook ads shopify facebook ads e-commerce facebook ads drop shipping and you can find multiple people and what you can do is make a list of around 10 of these people contact them all or make a post on Upwork. And then you can ask them, hey, how many campaigns have you ran before? What are your case studies for clients? And if you can see that they've been able to replicate the results again and again and again, they've been able to get success for multiple people and multiple accounts, then you know, okay, this might be my guy. Get them on a Skype call, see what they've been doing. Make sure they show you proof that they actually can run Facebook ads, not just screenshots or telling you this and that. They can actually do it, show you life proof on there, and if they actually care about the results of their clients, and then you can go and hire them. Some of them will do it at a percentage of the profit, and some of them will do it at a percentage of the ad spend that you put into your Facebook ads. So some of them don't even charge you an upfront fee to actually run your ads, and it can be extremely profitable. I have one of my students who makes more than $100,000 per month. He pays this guy $1,500 to run his Facebook ads and that's it. He can focus on branding. He can focus on improving his products, improving his customer service and the ads. It's somebody else that's running him for him. For the third point here, extremely important is that profit on your Shopify store is not made in the front end or the front and um, uh, it says formed but front end of your store it's about the whole process and the business coming together and making results with everything so in particular esther for example she was kind of breaking even on the facebook ads in the first sale but then she was profiting around 20 to 30 dollars per sale with upsells with email marketing with just a business in completion coming together. And that's something that really nobody talks about. Everybody talks about, oh, how to be profitable in the front end. If I'm not profitable and I get a sale, what do I do? And the reality is most, most very successful companies, they are profitable on the back end when they get a repeat purchases, when they get upsells, when they get email marketing people to go through the website. So yes, you can definitely be profitable in the first sale. And that's really the goal is to actually have some profit in the first sale and then in the back end when the whole business comes together this is not just creating some random store putting some products up and getting profitable and getting rich this is really about building a successful profitable long-term business that you can have multiple products and know your audience very 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 deep so you can serve them as best as possible have great customer service so people buy again and again and again from you also one very important advice that i do want to give you is that esther for example she tried about four different mentors, four different people that helped her and it didn't work out. She hired different people, it didn't work out and she just never gave up. She just always 100% believed in her business that it's going to work, I'm gonna do it. And she just kept trying, kept trying, kept trying until it worked. So if you're going through some hardships, if it's just not working out, you're not profitable, just keep going, keep learning. It's possible to make it work. Just don't treat it as a quick money thing. Treat it as a real business. Look at what real businesses are doing big business, how they're treating the whole process and go forward like that. If you want to learn more about hiring people and actively shortcutting your process to success and getting your Shopify store running faster and become one of our success stories, just like Esther, make sure to schedule a strategy call with the first link in the description, either me or somebody in my team, you can schedule a call directly with us and see if we can help your business grow and scale this year and beyond and how we can actually 
work together to get your business profitable, long-term, sustainable, and scalable. So make sure to click that first link in the description, apply for a strategy call. And if you're interested in learning my other Facebook ad strategy of $2,000 per day, how my student Jishin was able to hit $2,400 $2, per day in the exact Facebook ad strategy and how I create my Facebook ads that make that amount of money, make sure to click the video that's gonna pop up right here. Click the video that pops up right here. There's gonna be a video how Jishen made one $2,400 per day and how to create the Facebook ads that he makes and how I make my Facebook ads. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, that like button if you enjoyed the video and comment automate down below for the free Shopify course. I will see you in the next video.